All right. Hello. Uh, hello, YouTube. Sorry. Don't worry, Samir. Don't worry. Uh, hello, YouTube. Here we are again, the Center for Applied Drama and Autism. We're here today, of course, with the final main improv show of our comedy troupe season. Um, we hope you enjoy the show. We hope it's a, a grand old time. Let me bring on our cast now and give them a, a warm, quick introduction here. We have Sid. We've got Justin here. Hello. And of course, Samir and Max. Hi, everybody. A few people. There's Amanda. Hi. All right. I think, Jake, do you want to say hi to the people? Hello. Howdy, Jake. All right. Tonight, we're going to be doing an improv show for you, because that's uh, one of the main things we do. We've been working on improv and comedy uh, all year. Well, as long as you don't count the summer. And we're, we're going to put on a nice show for you. Well, we hope, because, you know, it's improv. Who knows what's going to happen next? <laughs> all right. Who knows what's going to happen? Yeah, you know. It's improv. And they can happen. For our first game, we'll be playing a game called Home Shopping Network. At this point, I ask all the actors to turn off their cameras and find the thing that they are going to sell on the Home Shopping Network. Here I am. You didn't turn... All right, everyone turn off their cameras first. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Home Shopping Network. My name's Daryl Sinclair, and I'm here to sell you the finest things that people are trying to sell. We've got an excellent selection of home sellers today, ready to sell to you home shoppers. All right. I do believe that we have a seller on the line, on line two. Yep, there we go. Seller on line two. Introduce yourself to America and tell us what it is you're selling here today. Hello, citizen. This is my robot. I built it, Mel Mario. You built a robot? What is the robot's purpose? He's to take over the universe. You built, a ro you built a robot whose purpose is to take over the universe. It's me. And, it's and a robot named Mel Mario. And now you're okay. planning to sell this? Yes. Is there a reason you've given up on taking over the world yourself? I I am. <laughs> Thanks to my robot, I will rule the universe. I only got $9.99. So you're selling a robot capable of taking over the universe for $9.99. Is that right? That's right, sir. All right. Well, let's get some callers on the line and find out who would like to buy this world-dominating robot. Um, I'm confused as to how your plan works since. Ring, ring, ding, 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 dong. All right, we have a caller on line five. Caller, you're yes, on the it's air. Yes, Skeletor. Hello, Skeletor. Um, nice to see retirement's treating you well. <laughs> yes, it is We're treating me well. I would love to buy this thing for a hundred dollars. Or uh, you want to pay? I'm sorry, you want to pay ten times the amount it's currently going for? Yes. Well, that's that's awful generous of you. Uh, apparently, your your villain <laughs> pension must be pretty good. Um, all right. Well, we had a bit of a hundred dollars. Do we have any other callers on the line who would like ring, to ring. buy this world dominating robot? Ring, ring. All right, we got a caller on line three. Caller, the current oh, bid is a hundred dollars. How much are you willing to bid? Well, hi there, neighbor. I'm I be believe that everybody has the right to have a lovely day. And I think that their robot won't be making anybody having a nice day. So I'm but willing to bid. Why do we have why do we Mr. Rogers on here? Uh, please, uh, Mr. Skeletor, the other caller is talking. Sorry. Well, well, I be do believe that I could put this robot to use to something other than, than that. Maybe I could teach it to clean or maybe to hang out with my little puppy friends. Maybe something like that. All right, well, that's very um, ethical go. of you. But I have to ask, 
Can you beat a hundred dollars in asking price? I'd be willing to pay two hundred dollars. All right, we've got two hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. I'm sorry. What was that, Skeletor? Three hundred. Okay, we're up to three hundred. Oh, the Skeletor. I have to. Oh, well, I was well, going to. Hold on, seller. I think number caller on line three might have a higher bid. I was willing to bid about five hundred dollars for that there robot. A thousand. Okay, Skeletor's gone to a thousand. Collar. So to the Skeletor. Ah, he certainly is. He certainly does have a hair trigger on there. I will. Okay, if you want to sell it to that man so well, I'm sure you'll do something nice with it. Take oh. over the world, finally and forever. <laughs> All right. Dodger. Well, apparently the seller has spoken, and he's rooting for Skeletor. Let's get you and both on the table. You can try, friend. And see if Skeletor can pass the background check. All right. Let's see here. We All right. I think we have a seller on... Let's see here. I think we have a seller on line four. Seller on line four. Are you there? Uh, yes. I'm here. What and are you selling? Today I am selling... Um, with Memorial Day coming up, I have this uh, dog tag... Um, that's the Wasp Squadron, which is uh, the ladies in the um, the army who flew the, those uh, planes. Okay, all right. And um, is there any particular perk or other specialty that comes along with owning this item? Um, yes, there also is um, a quote on the back of the necklace. It's probably flipped, but um, it says uh, aim. It says aim high. Uh, believe in yourself and in other stuff. Use your brain, never quit. Be yeah. ready to go. Mm -hmm. Expect to win. Yeah, expect to win. Yes. Okay. All right. So how much are you asking for this item? I'm asking for this item. I'm asking um, $50. $50. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Do we have any buyers for this piece of memorabilia? Bing. We have a caller on line six. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, how's it going there? Good. Thanks for yeah, calling. I'm, oh yeah, I'm a uh, I'm I'm a uh, American born citizen, and I'm I'm really into into dog tags. Oh, interesting. Okay. Especially dog tags that say stuff like "Aim high for yourself" and, and other stuff. Yeah, I'm I'm selling this uh, dog tag uh, for fifty dollars with Memorial Day coming up. It's the Wasp Squadron. Well, right. I was sure, I was sure, sure as a puppy's paw, spend fifty dollars on that. All right, we have got an offer of fifty dollars. Okay. Is there anyone else who is interested in purchasing this item? All right. Offer of fifty dollars. Going once. Going twice. Going three times. Sold to the gentleman on line six. Yep. Congratulations. Oh. All well, right. That's, let's that's get the bee's you... knees right there. Indeed it is. Let's get you both over to accounts payable so that we can get those uh, bee's knees a knocking. All right. Whatever that means. All <laughs> right. Here we go. All right, let's see who we've got next on the next line here. Oh, we apparently have a seller on line five. Seller, uh, what yes. are you selling? I'm selling this, uh, this, um, a Spider-Man mask. Worn by Tim, worn by, um, it's a, it's a thing they used for in the movies when, um, by, um, Tom Holland when he was, when he when for stunt people when it's Tom Holland's stunt actor wore this. For, You're saying this mask was authentically worn by Tom Holland's stunt double. Yes, before they used before they bought in the full face covering just for temporary use. Okay, all right. Does it come with a uh, certificate of authenticity or anything with that? Yes, it does. I have it. I have it. I I do have it though. I do have one. All right. And how much are you asking for it? 
Six hundred dollars. All right, that is pretty expensive, but I guess that makes sense for movie memorabilia. Do we have any callers who are willing to pay six hundred dollars for this Spider-Man double man? Oh, okay. we have got a caller on line two. I'm sorry, sir. Slow down. What was that? Seven hundred, you please. You're willing to raise the price to seven hundred? Okay. That's right. All right, seven hundred for the Spider-Man mask. Do we have any other callers on the line? Ring, 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 ring. We've got a caller on line three. Caller. Hello. I would like to purchase this mask that you are selling. It has okay. interest yeah. to me. I will pay eight hundred dollars for it, not a penny more, unless the other person wants to pay more than I will. Yeah, and it's something you're from Russia, so. What? Nothing wrong with that. We take, we accept the ruple here, but not for long. All right, here. Uh, let's. All right. What do you say, caller on line two? Are you willing to pay more than eight hundred dollars? Give it to him. Cash? I'm down with you, guy. All right. Well, this is done. Well, that was simple enough. Apparently, going to nine hundred would have been too much for him. Sold to the oligarch from Russia. Let's All right. Let's get you both over to accounts payable. You know, $700, you know, like $800 of American in Russia is like what? $100,000? Don't know. 100,000 rubles? Not sure. All right. I believe we do have a seller on line seven. Seller on line seven. Are you there? Hang on. Oh, he must be having a problem with his connection. Nope, not a problem with the connection. All right, well, oh, oh there we go. We've got him on the line. Seller, what are you offering today? I'm offering, say, a magic pencil. A magic pencil, all right. And what makes the pencil magic? Does it... it? Go ahead. Oh, I was I'm... going to ask if it granted wishes or something, or everything you wrote came true. Uh, correction. Uh, it can help writing letters and drawing circle perfect. It draws perfect circles. All right. Excellent. I'm sure there's a a sad art student somewhere who wants that. <laughs> Whoa, we've got a caller, and you didn't even say what the price was yet. Um, let's bring the caller on the line. Maybe they're willing to uh, make a good offer. Uh, caller on line four, you're on the air. Yes, I would like to buy this magic pencil. And how much are you willing to pay for it? I'm willing to pay a hundred dollars all right a hundred dollars does that sound like a reasonable starting bid to you sir absolutely oh all, all right do we have any other callers who'd be willing to pay more than a hundred dollars for this perfect circle because I, pencil? i'm not a good drawer as i once was so i thought maybe this magic pencil would help me i mean that makes sense all right. Do we have any other callers willing to pay, make a bid for the pencil? We got a caller on line six. Hello, line six. You're on the air. Hi. So, caller, uh, current bid is a hundred dollars. What are you willing to bid? Um. Well, being in an art school, I only I only have like fifty dollars cash and like sixty dollars on my food card. So like 110, if you guys accept that. All right. Would you accept money off of a food card? Mm -hmm. He's saying he, he has only, he only has $110, but only if you accept payments from uh, like a food car from a card from a college. Oh, they have really good. They have really good sandwiches. So right. essentially, he's offering you like fifty dollars and some sandwiches. Okay, 
I accept. Oh, really? Oh, boy. Uh, well, caller number four, are you willing to beat $110 worth of money and sandwiches? Uh, yes, I'm going with 105 That's technically less? I mean, if you include the value of the sandwiches. Um, I, well... The price to beat is 110 so you'd want to go over 110 Um, 109 All right. It looks like it goes to the sandwich gentleman. Uh, but, uh, we have fun here. Th that's, that's fair. All right. Well, and that, all right, which brings us, I believe, uh, let's see here. I know we have another seller here. I believe we have a seller on... Uh, line six. Hello. And what are you selling today, sir? I am selling a real uh, UFO that crash landed in my backyard. A real UFO? It seems like a very small UFO. Well, what people don't realize is that real aliens are actually very tiny, more like ants. I see. All right. And how much are you asking for this alien piece of technology? Since it is an alien piece of technology and can do many things, I'm starting to bid at $1,000. Expensive, but makes sense. All right. Let's go to our phone lines and see if we have any bidders for the UFO. Mm -hmm. All right. We got a caller on line three. Caller. Uh, Yes. Are you all right, caller? The current bid is a thousand dollars. Is that within your price range? I will give you twelve thousand gleptons. Uh, what is the exchange rate on that to dollars? Oh, sorry, that is um two hundred U.S. dollars. Uh, that is technically less than the current asking price. Oh uh, wait, uh, sorry. I will bid three hundred then. 300 US dollars. The current asking price is a thousand US dollars. Wait, is less not more acceptable? It is not more acceptable. I'm going to have to open up this to some other bidders here. You know, I think we might have a bidder on line seven. Bidder, do we have a bidder on line seven? Yes, I do. That is not line seven. But, you, all right. Bidder on line seven, are you willing to pay more than a thousand dollars for this UFO? Well, I guess so. You guess Cause I, so? Because I have a lot of money since I'm rich. All right, a rich guy trying to buy a UFO sounds about right. So how much are you willing to pay for the UFO? A thousand dollars. All right, that's the current asking price. Are you willing to go over a thousand dollars? Maybe one thousand one hundred? One thousand two hundred? Something like that? A thousand and five hundred. Okay. You hear that, aliens? We're up to one thousand five hundred. So, if I am understanding correctly, more is more acceptable? Yes, that is how Earth money works. I will go 2,000. All right, caller on line seven, we're up to 2,000. Are you willing to go above 2,000? Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Uh... How much above 2,000? 3,000. All right, you hear that, aliens? We're up to 3,000 from the rich guy. I will bid 3,100 and we will return your cows. All right, rich guy, he's offered to return the cows. Are you willing to do more than, than how much he said? What I believe was like 3,000 and some cows.
3,525. All right. Very specific. Aliens, what do you say to that? We do not have that much Earth currency. And... All right. Then once again, the rich guy wins. Let's get... Let's get these you people over to accounts payable. Again. Indeed. All right. Let's see here. D let's see here. Did I already go to Did I already go to seller on line three? I don't believe so. All right. I believe you are our final seller of the evening. What are you selling? Well, I have a fantastic item for you today. I have this magic little thing. Take a look at this. See it? Shake it up. It's got some stuff, but that's not all it does. Take a look at this. Shake it up a little bit, and it is bigger. Take a look at that. Same thing, just bigger. And one oh. last interesting thing it can do is that it can shift you throughout dimensions. So you have a morphing dimension shifter. Yeah, take a look. I can even do a demonstration. And it is done. See? Okay. Yeah. Fascinating. How much are you Impressive, asking right? for this? It is. How much are you asking for this? I'm going to go for a cool 10, 10 grand on this one. Got to get a good amount like, of that. It does seem like there should be some type of high price for it. All right, we're opening the lines. Who wants to buy the Dimension Shifter? I, 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 would, I am from Planet Sauron. All right. Someone on line five from Planet Sauron. Would like to make a bid? Yes, I would like to make a bid for what's going to ask him twice again. Uh, cool 10 grand, my friend. It's 10, uh, oh, I, 20, 000, 20, uh, wait, oh, wait, yeah, 20,000. $20,000, all right. Anyone else yes. want to be able to travel from dimensions for more than $20,000? I'm telling you, folks, these things are going to go fast. I mean, literally, because... Ring, I... ring, 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 ring. Got a caller on line four. Caller? Hi, yes. I would like to buy this dimension shifter. All right. Uh, its current bid is $20,000. Can you beat $20, that? $20,000. I'm sorry, how much? Well, oh, I was just saying that the price that he gave you. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you were making the new bid. No. So the, the current bid is how much? 20000 20,000. Um, I'm going to go with 300. 300,000? That is lower than what we want. Yeah, 300,000, yeah. All right, that's... That's much 400,000. All right, they've gone up to 400,000. Call on line five, four. Five, Can you five, 5,000. I'm sorry, 5,000 or 500,000? 5,000. So you're going down? Well, well, why is she going down? Six, six, 600, 600. 600,000. That's what we like to hear. 600,000. 600, 600 million. All right. Okay. okay. 600 million, sir. I'm afraid. I am not a human being. I am an alien. All right, Mr. Alien. I'm sorry, but it, we would need to do a credit check to accept that amount of money. Yeah, I'm, okay. a little, I'm a little trepidatious, my friend. All right, let's... All right, we're going to go with you on caller. We're going to go with the caller on line four. Yay! Let's, All right. Let's get you over to a pounds payable and get that cool $600,000 transferred to you. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Thank, thank you so much for joining us here on the Home Shopping Network. I'm your host, Daryl. Forgot my last name. All right. And scene. All right. Thank you for that game. Uh, now we're going to move on to our next game called The LaRonde. For this game, I need your help. Your help from the audience. What I need is a word. So any word at all. The first word that gets put in the chat will be the inspiration for the first scene of this game. I'm waiting on you, dear audience. Here I am. I'm sorry, Samir. That, that's, I, I wasn't waiting on you. 
The first word is cabbage. The first word is cabbage. All cabbage! Right. Now, let me explain the game to the audience real quick. This is the Laurent. It's a series of rotating scenes where characters know each other. I will know Samir. Samir will know the person in his scene with him. My character won't change and Samir's character won't change, but new characters will always be coming into the scene. All right. It's now... All right, it's now time to begin. Just need to bring Samir back here. Sorry. Now listen here, Steve. I know you've been stealing my cabbages. Yeah, it's not my fault I stole it. Mm. It's not your fault you stole my cabbages. What are you doing with them, Steve? I'm using it it's right there, see? <laughs> now, Don't I see your fun. ring. It's, it's, it's nice. You've been showing it off all week. But that ring does not give you the right to steal my cabbages. I did it. I saw it. Here, you stupid cabbage. Ah. Steve, you stole more than one cabbage. What are you doing with the cabbages? Are you making them in... Are you making, are you making coleslaw? Yes, I'm sorry I yelled. Steve, do you have a problem with me? Yes, I believe you. Here are lots of cabbage. Ah! I'm... Okay, stop throwing cabbages at me. You're a liar. I'm a liar? Oh, what did I lie about? You Steve. are a ah! liar. Steve, you stop throwing the cabbages! Stop it! St ah! Steve, you say I'm a liar, but I need to know what you lie. What? What are you accusing me of, Steve? Yes, I am a liar. <laughs> Steve, Steve, look, man. As your neighbor, I want to know why are you so mad at me? I'm sorry. For what? Oh, for the throwing the cabbages? cabbages? No, I get... Yeah. No, okay, I accept your apology for throwing the cabbages, but... But why did you do it? I'm just trying to help. <laughs> you... thought it would be helping me to steal my cabbages and then... throw them at... I... Steve! Steve, I don't know what your problem is, Steve. I've been a farmer... We've been farmers next to each other for years. And now, all of a sudden, you're stealing my cabbages, and you're throwing them at me, and you're calling me a liar. Well, Steve, I've had enough of this, okay? Because you're going to send me home? No, Steve, I'm going home. This is your yard. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry for stealing cabbage. Are you sorry for calling me a liar? Yes, I'm sorry. Okay, Steve, well, if you ever feel like telling me what your problem is with me, I'll be over there, at my, in my house. Thank you. Thanks. Ah! Ah! Steve! I won't forget this final insult. Why me? Why me? Did you return the cabbages to him? Yes. I saw yes. yes. <laughs> now I'm gonna take over them find Mario and bring him to me. Excellent, my son, excellent. You have proven to be a worthy apprentice in the ways of the dark vegetable arts. You have made me proud as your father. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, laugh, my son, laugh, for soon that fool won't even realize that we were using the cabbages as a distraction to take over his farmland, and from which more of our spudlings may grow. <laughs> I am so proud of you, my boy. 
You have done well to earn your place in the Spudling Empire. You're but right. You must, must know. Why did you throw the, the cabbages at them? They are a little bit angry about that. I was trying to help, Father. That's all. Well, I will say that it wasn't horrible. Most of them weren't alive yet. So they weren't in the ground long enough. So we weren't, they didn't really have to worry about that. They just view it as kind of odd, you know. <laughs> but it's fine. You did a great job. You did awesome. I'm very Thank proud. you, sir. I don't, son, I keep telling you this. I don't have hands. I oh, I got it. Here. Oh, okay, 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 son, son, please don't electrocute me. I'm a regular potato, not a baked potato. Sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> I understand your vigor. Oh, yeah? Squirt, squirt, squirt! You know, I will say that that does clean you up. Thank you. <laughs> I do like water. You've made, again, very proud of you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, enough of with the tour. To, to, enough with the static. Enough, enough. We've, we've moved past that. We're going to be moving on to more of mischievous plans. Yeah, we're going to steal Karen, aren't we? Yes, we are. That's, a, that's very good. I want you to go to the next house over and steal their carrots. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. Father. So proud of him. He's doing his old Spud Papa proud. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Miss. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. Nice to see you again. Nice to be seeing you again. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just, you know, being a potato and all that. <laughs> well, you're kind of in my territory. What are you talking about? This is my house. Well, if it's your house. Do you have any carrots? Well, we will be getting a large amount of them once my son returns. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes, it's not as if these carrots are for any particularly nefarious purpose. No, just, no, just no, getting I, carrots. I don't, I don't use them as weapons. But we're not going to use them for that either. Wait, what are you going to do with the carrots? Just eat them. What? You're going to eat them? Yeah, I'm, I'm a bunny. Bunnies eat carrots, right? No, I mean, I know that, but you shouldn't. They have feelings, like me. I, my cousin's I did, a carrot. I, did, I had no idea that carrots had feelings. You don't want me to eat your carrots. We've known each other for five years, and you don't know that you didn't assume that other vegetables were alive? Nope, I didn't assume other vegetables was alive. I thought carrots were dead. That's kind of a terrifying thought. You know, we've been, like, I know we've been friends for five years, but I'm starting to regret that friendship. I don't know how many of my cousins you may have eaten. I'm going to leave now. You have a lovely day, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> All right. All right, Susie. How's it going, Susie? You know I need you to tell me. Yes. Truth. Are yes. you a spy or not? No, I'm. I'm not a spy. Oh, I believe that you are, because I am your friend. I am your father, and I believe that you're spy. I know if I was a bear, or a panda bear, a polar bear, so it's really weird that I. Okay, yep. maybe. Yep. Okay, maybe I do spy on potatoes, but I don't mean to spy potatoes. on potatoes. Oh, Sammy the potato has told me all about you. Your fairies plan to eat his friends, the carrots. Yes, I was going to eat his friends, the carrots. I didn't know that they were alive. I yes. thought that, I thought yeah, that they I were the that. vegetables. Yes, I understand that. Do you want me to get you the rejected cabbage patch kid or not? The rabbit to rich kid that pees the bed. <laughs> it's very rare. It's hard to get to. Um, you don't really need to buy me a cabbage patch doll. Well, it's the, it's the rarest of them all. 
I don't need a Cabbage Patch doll, but thank you for wanting to buy me one. Well, no way, no, no way. Yeah, the little wares of them all. It's the way it's the way of worn a piece nonstop. I don't need one of those. Oh, okay, whatever. I want to buy some more. I, I, I just want carrots. That's all I want is carrots. Don't we have carrots in the fridge? Because I want to live. Don't we have carrots in the fridge? Okay, I'm going to go get some carrots then. All right, I think we have carrots. See ya. The See ya. All right, we're just waiting here. Oh, hello there. Hi, sir. Welcome to Key Bank Loan Services. How may I assist you today? I need a. Oh, well, okay. I do need. A, I do need to make. I do need. My, I do need some money. I need a hundred thousand five hundred. Go. I need five grand. You need five thousand dollars U.S. cash, sir. Yes. Okay. Um, we can definitely work that for you. We are going to charge you an 11% APR fee and yeah, I'll need you to I sign to seven. Do. I'm sorry, sir. What was that? I need it today. Uh, yes, sir. We can get it to you today. We need you to sign several documents and okay. uh, proof of ID. All right. Done. And then your ID, sir. Oh, you were born in January, just like me. Yep. There you go, sir. Thank um, you. Okay, uh, you're welcome. Now, uh, what I'm going to need you to do is uh, step aside to the uh, other office, and uh, we will get you that cash shortly. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Howdy, stranger. Hi. Uh, I'm a sheriff to, yeah. to crime. Yeah, I um, I've been writing false loans for for years, and I um, I, I I'm I'm terribly sorry, and. Uh, I'm, I'm turning myself in. Mm, I know. You've been on my tail for years. I've seen you and it was that loan I wrote to the polar bear that I think uh, got me. Hmm. The polar bear got you, huh? Yeah, I shouldn't have wrote. It, it was a bad loan. He, uh, he had a fake ID and it looked real. My bad. Right. Um, I guess I'll just uh, give you here my hands to handcuff me. I was uh, I was about to I, I was about to say you're under arrest. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm turning myself. Ow! Ow! You don't have to pull me that hard. Ow! Okay. All right. You got me now. In fact, you're going to jail. What? <laughs> Thank goodness you're here, Sheriff. I have lost it i have had it up to here with my neighbor he stole a bunch of my cabbages and then when i went to ask for him back he pelted me with them just kept throwing them at me hmm. so he did huh yeah so i would like to press some charges assault with cabbage all right and I, I probably need, like, I probably need a restraining order. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would like you uh, to do whatever is legally within your power to stop my neighbor from this shenanigans. All right. I stopped your neighbor. 
That was faster and more efficient than I could possibly have imagined. And scene. All right. All righty. We're going to move into our final game of the evening, which, of course, Ooh. is the staple, is the classic staple of our group, which is mm -hmm. Busta. <laughs> hey there, buddy. Where are you going? I'm going home. Aren't we all going home, really, in the long yeah. run of life? I was drunk, all right. <laughs> well, sir, if that's how you're feeling, maybe it's time you got on the bus. Yeah. Going home, I'm feeling drunk, and what about you? Sorry. Well, sir, I myself am a... I'm a gentle, a gentle philosopher of the road. I'm sorry, but no drunking. I won't drunk anymore. Well, I'm glad to hear that you've had that revelation, sir. No more I'm drunk. I'm sure your, your life will improve dramatically. Okay? No, all right. I'm a rapper, all right. Oh, so now you're a rapper? Can you rap for me? Sorry, the name Bill. You are? My name is Brian Doyle Jones. Brian Doyle Jones? Yes. Do <laughs> you think my name is funny? Yeah! And there's my bus! I gotta go home and tell everybody! <laughs> Bye! What a strange man. I hope his life dramatically improves. I guess I'll just wait here at the bus for someone to join me. Hello there! Howdy. Welcome! Howdy, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. What's your name, good sir? Well, my name's Ted Hansen, and I'm from Texas. Ah, I see. You have a pretty big hat. Yeah, it's one of the way, many ways people can tell I'm from Texas is my hat. I see. No, I'm not, not trying to say anything here, sir, but you say you're from Texas, but you seem to be of average height. Well... That's, well, I mean, everything may be bigger in Texas, but that's usually referring to the fact that Texas is the biggest state by a land mass. I also happen to be a land is examiner. It, so, is, yeah. it, is it bigger than California? Why are you asking me questions like that, son? Of course. Oh, I'm just curious. California is pretty big. It stretches over the whole coast. Well, that may be true, but Texas is the most landlocked one. So it's got that over its head, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I mean, Texas isn't really that landlocked. It has Son, a, part of it touches the Son, ocean. I'm going to interrupt you right there. Texas is the biggest state. I'm just going to say that right off. It's like not big. big. California is not bigger. Well, how big are they? Hey, why are you giving me sass, boy? That's ain't, that ain't fair. Well, first of all, sir, I am not a boy. I'm a I man. Well, and fine then. I do apologize for insulting you. And I'm just we're here waiting for this bus to what? see how many roads I must go down. So you're going to West Virginia? That's a different song. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I, must got, I got my P's and Q's mixed up on that one. Me, I'm heading back home to Texas, which is also bigger than Virginia in terms of area. A lot of places mass. are. A lot of places are bigger than Virginia, but not many places are taller. All right. Well, I will, I'll see you later, good sir. I appreciate that. I'm just t taking this bus wherever the road will lead me. All right, then. You have yourself a good day, son. Oh, sorry, friend. What an odd boy. Son, person. Gotta make sure to be. Okay, people have people want to do that. I'm just waiting for the next person to hello. show. Oh, well, hello there. <laughs> Seem like you got two sets of glasses on there. I I do. I I just changed them. Oh, well, that's very nice, man. And uh, might I inquire as to your name? My name is Angelica. That's a very nice name. Name. What brings you here to the bus stop? 
Well, I'm I'm heading to an Elvis movie. Oh, that new one that just came out. I heard about that. Yeah, the new one. The new one that's about to come out it doesn't come out here till June 24th. Or yeah, June 24th. Ma'am, I hate to ask, are you shilling for the movie right now? Are you a movie what? shill? Is that what you are, movie shill? Yeah, I'm a movie sh- shooter, yes. Are you the one who filmed that movie? Um, not exactly. Another guy filmed it, but I was on set with him. Oh, that's mighty impressive. I'm sure it must have been nice to be around, around all that, like, those famous people, including Tom Hanks. I like Tom Hanks. Even uh, oh, yeah. Tom Hanks is amazing. I love being around Tom Hanks and Austin Butler. He's amazing. I don't I don't know much about Austin Butler, but I do know that I do know one thing about Elvis. He's a Southern boy, and I respect yep. that matter. Yep, I respect that matter too. He's a it Southern is. boy. He's a Southern boy. He's got a big heart. He had a big heart. I respect him. And I respect you for being a part for being a part of the magic that makes him makes him makes people know more about him i respect that about you but i believe that my bus back home to texas is coming up here but you a big texas day day and you have yourself a good one ma'am you too tip the hat to you yo i'm walking here i'm from jersey man i'm from jersey how are you doing i'm i'm doing good and who might you be my name's Jersey Joe. My name's Jersey Joe. Oh, New Jersey Joe? No, Jersey Joe. Not New Jersey Joe. Jer- Jersey Joe. Jersey Joe? Well, nice yeah. to meet you, Jersey Joe. Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. Same. What's your name, ma'am? My, my, name, my name is Alicia. And Alicia. I'm having- All right, nice to meet you, Alicia. Uh, nice else. to meet you, Alicia. Yes. I'm headed, I'm headed back to Jersey myself. Okay. Uh, cool. Actually, I believe I was still alive. That's my. I still believe I was still alive. I still believe he's still with us. You still believe that Elvis is alive? Yes. I don't. I, I don't. I don't believe that. Oh, I believe he's alive. I believe. I. I believe he's still with us. Well, you can you can believe what you want to believe, but I'm just All on right. my way. To, I'm just on my way to an Elvis movie with All Tom. Right. Well, I, and- with Tom Hanks and Austin Butler. Oh, actually, I actually know Tom Hanks. He's a best good friend of mine. I actually met him one time. Me and him are best oh, good friends. Oh, me and Tom Hanks. Oh, oh, you met Tom Hanks? Yeah, me and him are good friends. Me and him are good friends. Oh, you and him are good friends. Yeah. Well, you make sure that you tell Tom Hanks that one of the one of the, the film uh, critics says hi. All right. Well, he might not know who you are, but whatever. But all right, I'll tell him. <laughs> I'll, my boss to the Elvis movie is here. All right, see ya. Um, see ya. I'm just waiting here to go to Jersey. To go to Jersey. All right, wait for this guy. Hello, Lemmy. Hello, Lisa. How's it going? Name's Jersey Joe. Uh, Jersey, Jersey Joe? Yeah. Hey, man. I, <laughs> I, I'm lost, man. Where are you, why, where you headed, though? I'm trying to, I'm trying to go back to, uh, we're trying to go to Alaska, man. Alaska. Isn't, isn't, oh, you're from Alaska. I've been to Alaska too. I'm actually originally from Alaska. The moved really? to Jersey. Yeah. And so what was your name? there's a guy here, there's a guy going around town in Texas telling people Texas is the biggest state. Well, Alaska actually is the biggest state. That's, that's right, man. That's right. Well, if Texas is from- not the biggest state. Alaska is. Yeah. Yeah. If you're if your name is Jersey Joe, but you're from Alaska, what was your name when you were living in Alaska? Oh, it was well. Be, that's my nickname here in Jersey. That's my that's people. A lot of people call me in Jersey, but my real name is Sam Sammy Hagar. Sa- Sammy Hagar. Yeah. Wow, you've come a long way, man. You used to you used to you used to play uh, music. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, and I'm retired from that. I'm retired from that old that old. Now you're Jersey now. Joe. Well, that's my they call me. That's my nickname. That's your cover up, man. Yeah, people. Yeah, I'm like, if people go, oh, that's Sammy Hagar. I'm like, is that people going? Is that Sammy Hagar? 
Mike, no, that's no, that's just, like, no, that's Jersey Joe. People, people alone. That's, that's just, just me, no. Jersey Joe. That's what you tell them. <laughs> and there's some people who do. People, some people get it out of me. They say I'm Sammy Hagar. You know. You know, I was gonna go over the other bus stop and and ask that younger person what who how to get back to Alaska. But I'm glad I stopped here, man. I got to meet the real Sammy Hagar. Yeah, and I actually am going back to. I'm actually. I don't like in the Jersey, so I'm moving back to Alaska next week. We should be roommates. I actually have a house in Alaska, so you can move with me if you want in Alaska in my house, and I still have that. This is the best day of my life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're welcome. What's your name? My name is Billy. Billy. All right. Nice to meet you, Billy. All right. I, I see you all be there, and I'll be there soon in Alaska, so... Look I'll forward. Be, I'll, here's, here's my address. Oh, thanks, man. I was going to ask for your autograph, but I guess oh, I'm I, living with you now. So, Oh, thanks, man. Here's, here's your autograph for anybody who wants it. Yeah, cool. Yeah. All right, man. See ya. Tell people you met Timmy Hagar. I will. Howdy, stranger. Hey, what's up, dude? Not much. I, uh, you just missed Sammy Hagar. Oh, I'm not a sheriff. My friend is. Oh, okay. Well, that's good because I was hitchhiking earlier and I know that's illegal, so. I was worried that a cop would roll up on me, but that's good that you're not a cop. What do you do? Sing my friends. You sing? No, I'm seeing my friends. Oh, you're seeing your, you're seeing your friends. Where do your friends live? My house. Oh, so you're just going back home. Yep. I'm headed out to Alaska. I just got a, a, a new roommate. Hmm. Never been, been, never been here. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, we're in, uh, we're in Jersey right now. It's kind of a weird place. Uh, I mean, there, never been there. That's what I meant. Oh, okay. Hey man, you want to buy? You want to buy this autograph? Yep, I want to buy this autograph. All right, man. Here you go. Twenty bucks. Thanks, man. You're welcome. All right. Well, my bus is here. Thanks for the cash. Enjoy that. You're welcome, Van. See you later. You bet. Hey, buddy. Where are you going? Heading home to see my fans. Hey, man. That sounds pretty great. Can I come with you? Sorry, dude. I already have uh, uh, six. Uh, six roommates. Oh, I wasn't asking to live with you. I was just asking to come hang out. Okay. All right. Well, this looks like the last bus out of town, brother. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Looks like my bus is here. Well, looks like it's my bus too. All right, scene. Everybody can turn on your cameras. Ooh, and let's, yes, Sammy Hagar. Turn on your cameras. Let's take a bow for the audience. Let's take a bow.
I love you all. We want to thank you for joining us here. Yes, I'm here. Uh, to let you guys know, uh, so if you no. want to, if you want to turn on your cameras or put any comments in the chat, go right ahead. Mom, mom, mom. Hey, While Ruben. we're wrapping things up, I also want to take the opportunity to just to mention that um, while the comedy troupe will be taking a break for the summer, Katie will be continuing to have uh, open improv jams on Friday night, but also in the summer, starting on June 18th, we will be ha we will have a improv we will have a summer improv class on Saturday mornings at 11. So if you are so if you know anyone who might be interested in that, uh, feel f free to sign them up. And if you're interested in the open improv jams, those will be the last Friday of every month, just like these shows. Okay. And uh, anyone is welcome to come and play. Mm-hmm. And and uh, thank and I you have a couple comments before I uh, leave. Oh uh, yes, of course. Uh, Kata is taking it slightly easy this summer. We are going to be doing some preparations for big projects in the fall. So only one class, Improv for All, that's for all ages and all abilities on Saturdays, and the comedy jams once a month. There will be opportunities for actors to join in the projects, and we will be contacting our actors when we need you. We're going to be looking for voice actors. We're going to be looking for character actors. And we will be calling you for that. So okay. even though you're not going to see a lot of official CADA stuff going on this summer, we're going to be very busy preparing things for launch this fall. Okay. Oh, so oh, so stay tuned. Hey, we got a little show box. <laughs> I love you, everybody. Bye. Thank you all. Thank you all for coming tonight. Thank you all for coming. How do you? Yeah, thank you. We hope you all had a great time. I love play, I, I, I couldn't think of anybody else, but I'll, I'll just play a Sammy Hagar. That's really funny. Peace, love, and soul. Good night. All right. We have we do have some comments from our from our chat Good here cool. with our audience in the Zoom room. Kristen and Steve Cron say, fun show, great job. Steve mm -hmm. and Debbie say, great job, everyone. Bittersweet that this is your last show for a while. Enjoy your summer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, unless anyone has any other questions or comments they'd like to mention, I think it's time uh, to say goodbye to our friends on YouTube. Goodbye, uh, everybody. Let's wave Peace to YouTube. Love it. Oh, good night. Hi, YouTube. Hey, Doug. I play Sammy. Hey, Doug. 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 Hey, Doug.